anymore even if we paid them. The only one who came around was a sheriff. Now this is the first American carnival that ever played Germany. Nobody knows whether they're going to go for us or not. But I figure this way. We might turn into a freak novelty if we give them straight American mud show corn. So forget where you are. Play it straight to the hillbillies. Now you talkers, you'll have to work in German. I've had translations made of all the ballyhoos. So you read them right out. And if we can't talk them in, pray them in. Here we show him as a gesture. 
and the vice Americanish friendship to all the people in the world. Change the men and women here in uh, all these remarkable little ladies here. Uh, this and uh, wonderful uh, mention reform these their their pelican competence to the gods of their fathers. What's the perfect control? Uh, uh, control of the two hundred. Separate and distinct muscles of the zwei uh, hundred muscle uh, of the belly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Fifty cent. Uh, fifty pennies. Only fifty pennies. Come on. Only fifty pennies, boys. And inside, where it's warmer, they don't wear so many clothes. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Sir, who's next? You are. Ah, yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Step up, sucker. Thank you very much. Yes, dear. It's all in the car. All sold out. Come back in half an hour. A half a stunt. I call him, honey. You're a pretty good looking girl. So. You know what might be good for you? A little time in jail, maybe, for picking pockets. Some honest work. You could get me work. Might get your job here in the carnival. I can do anything. You're very strong. You mean it? Someone called me that one time and it stuck. My name's Joe. Joe Hamlin. How are you, Pardon me? Joe. Come on. I've got some information for you. I did not count your money. I think this must be yours. Thanks. Willie, remember this. Anytime you ever catch a thief, 
Be sure and search it very thoroughly. Charlie! Charlie! Well, uh, looks like we're doing all right now, huh? Yeah, we're really going for that Tennessee Dutch. Oh, uh, this is Willie. Willie? Here, looks like a girl. <laughs> I think she is. She'd like to join up with us, Charlie. Oh, now listen, Joe, I can't put everybody you pick up on the payroll. No, 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 look, this is an exception. She's gonna, uh, she's gonna teach me German. You know, to help out with the spiel. What else can she do? Now, this is serious. You can put her to work in the cookhouse, washing dishes. I will do anything, Mr. Grayson. Even a few days' work will help me. Okay. Sleep her with the hula dancers, I guess. You show up at the cookhouse at 6.30 in the morning. Thank you, Mr. Grayson. Huh? Oh, don't worry about him. He's harmless. I had him released from an asylum in Alabama. He is... No, 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 no. No, he's just a little stupid. And he's, he's a dummy. You know, he can't talk. Go back to your tent, Grubbo. Go back to your tent. This is Willie. She's going to stay with you a while. Baby, this is your new home. What's the matter? What's the matter? Look, uh, I've been traveling. I'm not clean. I'd be ashamed for them to see me. Is there some place I could take a bath? Sure. I, uh, I guess the only clothes you own are the ones you got on, huh? Yes. Well, I think we can find something for you. Come on. Which one do I pull? What do you want, hot or cold? I want hot. And then pull the one on the right. Oh, it takes a little while. Oh, oh no. Oh. Mm. Oh. 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 You are all over? Mm. All over. Well, let go of Jane and soak yourself. You all soaked all over? Every bit of it. I'm all smothered in bubbles. I'm all slippery in soap, and it's wonderful. Then go ahead and rinse off. Oh. oh, I hate to do it. Feel now? Uh, clean. You look clean. Mmm. Smell clean. <laughs> but you taste clean, too. No, no. Please. What's the matter? What's this? You didn't kiss before. What difference does that make? If I've been married before, would that make you want to marry me? If I've been hurt before, would that make you want to hurt me? Mm -mm. I don't want to hurt you.
the matter? You said I've been kissed before. Yes, I have. Many times. Mother. Go on. I tell you only this. To me, you are different. a little extra to bring a pot of coffee to my tent right after the act. I'd be okay with you? Be glad to. You have sugar and cream? Black. I'm Norman and Heron. Yet das wonder, the wonder show, the gross colony. From a height of 110 feet, uh, I mean, von einer Höhe von 37 Meter springt dieser mutige Mann in diesen kleinen Tank, which is only six feet deep. Zwei Meter tief ist. Mein Damen und Herren, der große Kolonne! Just put it on the chair. Well, 
much real service. Let me say thanks in German. Dankeschön. Dankeschön. And you deserve it. I saw your dive. Like it? <laughs> You're very brave, but it's frightening. <laughs> It'd probably scare me, too, if I saw it from the ground. Ooh, I've got a headache. Do you get them often? Once in a while. Depends how I hit. Will you let me rub your neck for you? I, I used to be good at it. All right. Strong hands. Hard work makes strong hands. They always do hard work? Not always. Who are you? Where are you from? That's not important. Oh, that's wonderful. My headache feels better already. Thank you. It was a very quick cure. Would you mind walking across the room, please? Why? I want to see how you move, how you carry yourself. Very well. Do you mind taking off your dress? But sometimes there are phrases in English I do not understand. Did you ask me to take my dress off? Afraid of me? I'm not afraid of anyone. Well? You know what I was thinking? Probably. You're wrong. I've been thinking lately the act might go better if I had a partner. That's all. It's just an idea. A lady partner? That's right. Can you swim? Yes. You were thinking of me? Why not? You've got good legs, good shoulders, strong hands. That's important when you're coming up. You move well, have good balance. Yes, but why do you ask me? There are many who move well. Well, if you don't want to, just say so. I, I don't really mean I don't want to. It's just that I'm scared to death just thinking about it. I know. I used to be that way myself. But I found you can do anything you make up your mind to do. Here, for the coffee. Oh, thanks. Why don't you think about it for a while? I would be able to earn a great deal of money, wouldn't I? A lot more than you're making in that cook tent. A lot more? Ah. Think it over. I will. Good night. Good night. Joe. Mm. Oh. Hello. Hello. What's this? Bedside service for the great colony? Yeah. And uh, he said something tonight that I want to ask you about. Uh huh. What? He wants me to be his partner. In the diving business, he, that he'd teach me. Well, maybe, uh, maybe he's on the make for you. Oh, no. Oh, he's very serious. He said I'd be able to earn a lot of money. What'd you tell him? Well, I said I'd leave uh, a little time to think about it. I thought I'd better ask you first. Ask me? Why? See whether you mind it or not. Mind it? Maybe you've been overdue for a good break. You think I'd stand in your way? No, no, no. I know you wouldn't, but it's very dangerous, you know. Ah. I'm afraid. So people, people get killed every day in the bathtub. Anything's dangerous. You really think I could do it? I know you can do it. But listen, you. I don't want that Wisconsin cheese eater moving in on my girl. Glad you're jealous. Sure, I'm jealous. I, um, I gotta go check with Charlie about the receipts. See you later. Good night. Good night.
Or even ten feet looks high from here. It is. Oh. Lesson number one, never look up. Not even when you're climbing. Yeah. Never look up. I'll try it. No matter how high you are, take one look down at the tank. Just one. Then look straight ahead. Shouldn't I watch you try it once or twice? Nope, this is the way to do it. Now look, you watch me. Turn around. As soon as your head touches water, the very instant you feel water, bring your back, pull up like this and reach for air. If you do that, you won't touch bottom. If you ever do touch bottom from real height, you're gone. Got it? All right, I'll try it. All right, you go on out to the end and do exactly what I tell you, when I tell you. All right, look down just once. Look straight ahead. Up on your toes. Deep breath. Now fall forward. Yes, I know, but how was the rest of it? Terrible. Now go on up there and do a good one. Yeah, that's right. Hi. What's need, honey? Meatloaf. Honey, my cup's dirty. So is your face, my dear. But we can get a new cup. Don't you dare grin. Who's grinning? Los abwaschen. Wir brauchen die hier nicht mehr. Na los, mach schon. Na ja, ich tue schon. You'd feel sorry for everything that wears skirts. Don't for 
get through for me. You've been in a fight? Yes, you get me through. I don't like it. Whistling for me. Like for a dog. You never let me know I had a plan. You never take me out. You just call for me as if I were your servant. Baby, what kind of a beep is this? You know I'm busy. I don't know when I'm going to be free. Well, from now on, you have to find out. You must treat me like a person of feelings instead of... Instead of what? Instead of what you think I am. Baby, I think you're my girl. Anything wrong with that? You shouldn't be so certain. Can't help it if I'm certain. Come on, let's take a walk, huh? No. What do you mean, no? I think you aren't falling for that high diver. I'm not falling for anybody. You're falling for somebody. Now, I want you to arch your back more and you got a service pass, do you understand? Okay. Otherwise, you're doing all right. Come on, it's only 75 feet. <laughs> now, let's see you do a really good one. get dried off. Come over to the tent, I got something for you. top once in your whole life, Willie. After that, it's never the same. There's only one way to hit the top the first time. Right out there where the music's playing and everybody in the whole world is watching. Yes, but... Here. Take this. Go ahead. Just one. Go on, take it. It'll relax you. Under your tent and lie down. I'll wake you when it's time. But what Go is on, it? Willie. That stuff hit you fast. Six minutes. Time to get dressed. Six minutes. 
I can't write them to Well, I should hope so. If you weren't, I'd think you were crazy. See other cities, other towns, shining like that in the night. I'll be way up here, cool and far away and high, looking down on them, never letting them touch you. This is the moment I've been waiting for. I love you very much. And I wanted to tell you up here, on your first night. I love you, Willie. I want you to marry me. You can tell me later. Now, you're on your own. Music's over. The act is on. Something happened tonight, which makes me very unhappy. Frank asked me to marry him. What? The, the cheese eater wants to marry you? Well, what do you know? Why should you be unhappy? Because he's in love with me. I don't love him. Well, uh, maybe you should learn to love him. What do you mean by that? 
That Wisconsin hillbilly should have a good watch stashed away by now. You could do a lot worse. But, sure. What, uh... You mean about us? Look, we're not going to let a little thing like you being married come between us. <laughs> If you ever touch me again, I'll kill you. All right, all you fakers and thieves. Like the man said, oh, there's good news today. The show's a big hit, and we got a brand new star. And here she is, the other half of the team of the Great Colonies. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is the happiest day of my life. Not only because I'm, I really feel a part of the show now, but because from now on, the colonies are not just going to be a team. They're going to be Mr. and Mrs. too. Sign for Life magazine. It's wonderful. Uh, aren't you forgetting something? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Willie, this is Bill Vines. He was combat photographer assigned to our regiment when I was feeling spuds for Company K. <laughs> She's my new partner. Hello, Willie. I uh, didn't know Frank had such a good eye for partners. Come on, everybody kiss the bride. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stand in line and take your turn. Here we go. All right, next. You're getting a swell guy, all the luck in the world. Thanks. <laughs> Look, Grupo, Grupo, you too. Oh, yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Kiss the bride. Uh, <laughs> lift her up so we can all see it, Grupo. What do you want? Uh, 
Nothing, I guess. Just thought I'd drop over and see how you're doing, how things are going. They go very well, and you shouldn't be here. Yes, you're right, but... Baby... I never see you alone anymore. You saw me alone. You've seen me alone for the rest of your life. You didn't want it that way. I know. I made a mistake. Yeah. I made it, but... Doesn't mean I have to like it, does it? No. There's nothing I can do about it now. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, there is. There's one thing you could do for me. Uh, you see, I, uh, I get myself in a jam, and I need a couple hundred bucks. But maybe you could let me have it. I for haven't a few got days. it. What do you mean you haven't got it? Frank takes care of our money. I haven't oh, got it. That... Thanks anyway. Something else I need. And you've got it. Oh, no. Not. Okay. Maybe I can get the money for you. As soon as I can. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. You've got to go. All right. I'll see you tonight. Meet me at the, the carousel. Better make it about 12 o'clock. You'll be asleep by then. Oh, you're cursed. Frank finds you here. I don't know what he'll do to you. I'll take that chance. See you tonight. Hello, Mrs. Cologne. Hello. I saw him come out here, you dirty little cheat. And if you ever do it again, I'm going to... Well, hello, Frank. Hi, Peggy. See you later, doll. Hello. What's she doing here? Barring threats. I don't like these Sunday afternoon shows. I, I like the lights when I die. Better get dressed. We can go on in 20 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to meet the wonder of our show, the fire eater extraordinary. Captain Snyder, he eats his thorns in the fire.
long after you look at the tank. It's dangerous. I know. Nothing bothering you, is there? No, oh, I just made a mistake. Why should anything be bothering you? Look, Joe, I haven't got the money. I couldn't think of a way of asking him without it seeming strange. Don't you know where it is? No, I never asked. What kind of dame are you? You don't know where your husband keeps his money. Look, I'll find some other way to get the money. I've got to go back. Mm -hmm. I want you no, to get away from me. I told you I'd kill you and I will. What's the matter with you? What are you talking about? You kill me. I knocked you down and kicked you. You wouldn't do anything about it. You couldn't, because you're in love with me. You couldn't help yourself. Joe, you hurt me. Baby, nobody else is ever going to come close to you again except me. Nobody ever. You're going back there and you're going to get that money and you're going to bring it to me. And we're going to leave together, you and me. together. Go to your tent. Go to your tent. <laughs> it's leaving the show, Charlie. Tonight. If I ever see you again, I'll really finish the job. I don't want no trouble on my show, Joe. You better pack your things. Come by my tent, I'll give you your money.
start packing. We're leaving the show tomorrow. What are we going to do? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to the States and buy a farm and live on it. And work on it with our own hands. If you're so tired, you won't have any ideas of playing around. I won't go. You'll go wherever I tell you. Do you think you can move me around like some farm animal? Well, you can't. I'm not an animal. I'm a human being. You don't act like one. I won't go. I don't love you. I won't go with you. I hate you. I hate every man in the world, and I hate you most of all. I don't belong to you. I don't belong to you or anyone else. And I want my money. I earned it. You have no right to keep it for yourself. I'm not keeping it for myself. I'm saving it for you. Then where is it? You Why must don't you show it to You me. must think I'm very stupid. Come on, guys. All I want is my money. And I won't go with you, and I want my money. You shut up and go to bed. so long. I've done everything myself, my own way. Sometimes I forget that I'm not alone anymore. But I'll try to be a good husband for you, Willie. Maybe never. I haven't got an order for the assignment yet, but uh, I think they'll like them. Uh, especially if you'll uh, open the cape a little. Oh, I hope this shows up in the picture. Frank gave it to me today. Real diamonds. Beautiful. Any special occasion, a birthday or something? No. No birthday. But a very special occasion. No, and my assistant and I will be popping up all over the place, but it'll all be this flash stuff, so just play like we're not alive, okay? <laughs> Bye. I'm Norman and Heron. Yes, das Wunder der Wunder Show. Die großen Kolonies. <laughs>
No, no, no. Thank you very much. You've been very nice. I wish there was something I could really do for you. I mean, I really do. No. I think all I need now is a little rest. Nice funeral, Willie. Nobody could ask for any better. Yes. I'm sure Frank would have thought it was a lovely funeral. You get some rest. You'll feel better in two or three days. Charlie. Why did everyone act so strange at the funeral? No one came near me. No one spoke to me. It's been that way ever since he died. Why worry about them? They're nothing but a bunch of characters anyway. As if they think I killed him. Oh, you want to know better than that? Gab, gab, gab. That's all they ever do. It was an investigation, it was an accident, and that's that. Besides, if they didn't have this to talk about, they'd find something else. I suppose so. Uh, Willie, I've got a little business I'd like to talk over with you. Frank's will. He made it out the day after the wedding. You get everything, Willie. I think it's a little more than you'd expect. Five thousand dollars cash money. Five thousand. Been saving for years for that little farm. It says you'll find it in the top of the trunk, in the back of the mirror. As I'm sort of responsible, I'd like to have you look to see if it's all there. Yeah. All right. See the checks out? No. Frank said there was five thousand dollars. That's what there is. My whole life I've dreamed of having money. I was much more modest in my dreams. Five thousand marks was all I wanted. Now I have five thousand dollars. And I don't want it. Of course you don't. I understand, honey. But Frank wants you to be happy. Why don't you look at it that way? Charlie, time? I really have to get some rest. Sell a lot of tickets. I'll show them to the gang. Poor Frank. Even when he's dead, he makes money for Charlie. Made money for me, too. I got an awful big check for that layout, Willie. You see, people like those pictures. Dramatized death it gives them a thrill, even in a photograph, to see Frank falling. Oh, perhaps. Do you know why they'll come now? Because they'll be waiting for you to fall. They'll want to be sure not to miss it when you do. Has it ever occurred to you, Bill, that people might like to see diving just because they like diving? Not a dive like you make. They're waiting for you to make a slip. They want to see you dead. I want to see you alive. Tell me about Frank and you. Not much to tell. We met, fell in love, just like that. Then we weren't alone anymore. 
We did everything together because we couldn't stand to be separated even for a single minute. That's why we became partners. We were very happy. Well, at least he had that. No. He hadn't. I'll tell you what he had. Really had. He picked me up out of the quilt tent. He taught me how to earn a living. He made a performer out of me. He loved me and he married me. By way of thanks, I betrayed him. I broke his heart. And in one way or another, I didn't want to come around any earlier. I was real sorry to hear about Frank. Were you? Well, of course. I mean, like, somebody you know. I heard you were terrific the first time after it happened. I had a good teacher. Yeah. How's Peggy? Peggy? Uh, I don't know. Well, I guess I better be going. Where are you going? I haven't made up my mind yet. Doesn't much matter. If he wanted it, I... I think I could get Charlie to give you her old job back. No, baby. You're doing all right now, and I want you to... I'm no good for you. Joe. <laughs> to come to my tent as soon as he can. It's very important. Sure. Right away. Thanks. Mr. 
Can't see me. Yeah. Sit down. There's uh, something we haven't talked about. Yeah? What's that? My new salary. You were paying Frank 200 and me 125. That's 325 for the whole act, right? Yeah, well, you see, I... From now on, the act only costs you 300. I was thinking around 200, and then maybe a little later... It's 300, Charlie, or I don't go on. And I'm not joking. No, I don't believe you are. And it's settled? Yeah. By the way, you haven't seen Joe around this morning, have you? Joe? No, why? I didn't even know he was back. He was. Is there anything wrong, Willie? Not a thing. Why? I was just wondering. The way you held me up for that $300 just now. It wasn't like you, Willie. It's going to be like me from now on, Joe. I'm turning smart. Very smart. You don't have to convince me. Died like Frank did. I'll do the somersault guy. Gee, that's great, kid, but do you know what you're doing? Improving the act, Charlie. That's what I'm doing. And after the dive, you come to my tent, and we'll talk about money. More money, to be exact. My dominant heron, Rock Poloni, I searched them out in a somersault dive. I'm Salto Bartali. says you're going to be great. It'll take a little while, but you're going to be all right.
Well, that, that, I got a nick during the war. Oh. I was a photographer at that uh, headquarters. I was snapping a photograph of some VIP 75 miles behind the front one day when a flash bulb exploded in their face. I always felt they should have given me the purple heart for it. I like him. Gives you a sort of a sporty look. I might even want to, but I can't. You're throwing away an awful lot of years that might be good for us both. I know. I'd probably be sorry for it the rest of my life. I've never brought good fortune to anybody. Least of all to myself. Are you sure it isn't Joe? Do you still love him? I don't know what love is. I think you love me. out of here all right, but she's not coming to Frankfurt. She quit, see? She's through. You can take that diving tower and you can sell it to the junk dealers. <laughs> but to tell you the truth, Charlie, I probably won't be coming back. I think I have other plans. Nice plans. Uh, just a minute. There's somebody here wants to talk to you. Just a minute. Much better. Thank you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Your attention, please. The passengers of flight 418 from Munich to Frankfurt will enter through gate number two. Achtung, Achtung. Die Passagiere des... Willi! Willi! Oh, I'm glad to see you. How do you feel, Willi? How do you feel? Oh, I knew you'd come back. This show is really nothing without you. Oh, come on. Let's show you your tents. Where's Joe? Well, he's in town trying to drum up some business. Oh, Gropo. 
We're very much alike, you and I. We have good things in us. Lots of good things. That trap there. We, we can't come out. Tend after the show. Sure, Joe. I'd like to see you. I'm Robin and Heron. Get us wonder from the wonder show. The Rossi Coloni. <laughs> I would have come back. Joe's here. Did you come to Frankfurt to see him? Yes. Yes, I did. Please believe me. I'm not running after you. I just want to be around if you need me. Look, you have to be alone now, Bill. Don't follow me, please. You are terrific. You're great. 
Mm, that took a lot of guts. I couldn't have done that. I mean, uh, go back up there after what happened. Thank you. Uh, Willie. I know what I did was a, was a real lousy thing to do, and I'm sorry. The only thing I can say is, I want to make it up to you. You want to give me back the money? Why, sure, baby, sure. But I want to do more than that. Look, without you, this show wouldn't be worth a penny. You know that. And what's Charlie paying you? Peanuts. I can show you how to make some real dough. You know what you should be getting? A piece of this outfit. And I mean a big piece. I'm going to see that you get it. Sounds fine, Joe. Is that all you're interested in? Baby. You know better than that. It doesn't work anymore. What's the matter with you? You're nuts? What are you talking about? I'm free of you. I didn't think I ever would be. But I am. Look, baby. I don't blame you for being sore about the money. The but... money? No, Joe. I'm only sorry it couldn't have been put to some decent use. Instead of being carried off to the sewers by filth like you. Now, just a minute. Just hold it. You can be sore, but... But you or no other dame's gonna talk to me like that. Now, let's stop this nonsense. Come here. I won't. You'll do as I tell you to do. Not anymore, Joe. That's all over. If you were starving to death and howling for food, I wouldn't throw you a rotten bone. <laughs> What you're trying to prove, but knock it off. It won't work. You're stuck with me, baby. And you know it. Whatever I am, we're both made of the same kind of stuff. We are not. I'm not dirty like you. When I stole your money, I was hungry. Whatever I've done wrong shames me. But you, you love to wallow in the mud. You've been paid in full. Now get out of it. Get out of here. Get out? You could stand there just like that and tell me to get out? You think, after what I did? Do you think I fixed a bar on Frank's ladder for you to tell me to get out of here? Yeah, I did that. I did it because I couldn't stand to be without you. I did it for us, because we belong together. You killed Frank? No, no, not me. We did it. The two of us, the both of us. Yeah. That's what everybody will think. Yeah. And I'll let them think it. Yeah. Now. Now tell me to get out of here.
Oh, Rocco. 